يا نفس إن لم تغفري لا تجزعي Today, at the Lumination, we will be continuing with our Dajjal series. This video is extremely interesting if you watch it till the end. Ever feel like you're always clicking away or losing interest halfway through a video? It happens to the best of us. But by sticking around till the end, you're not just watching, you're training your brain's attention span like a boss. Let's beat the scroll and show that our focus game is strong. In a world filled with entertaining distractions, it's easy for our brains to stay glued to the screen. But here's the challenge, can we apply that same level of focus to content that's not just entertaining but also enriching? By committing to watch this video till the end, you're investing in intellectual stimulation that will leave you feeling both entertained and empowered. Let's elevate our viewing habits and discover the satisfaction of a focused mind. In Islamic teachings, the Dajjal is seen as a deceitful and evil figure who is said to appear in the end times. One noticeable thing about him is his eyes, especially his right one, which is described as abnormal, like a bulging grape. Being one-eyed creates challenges. Imagine trying to understand a 3D object by only seeing its 2D projection. You might grasp some parts of it, like its length and width, but you'd miss out on its full depth. So, your view would be partial and distorted. For example, you might mistake a cube for a square from a certain angle, not seeing its true shape. In how humans think, there are two main styles. One, analytical. It's logical and step-by-step, -step, like when solving math problems. 2. Intuitive. This is more immediate and holistic, like a gut feeling about what feels right or wrong. Both styles should work together. Analytical thinking helps with careful reasoning and scientific work, while intuitive thinking guides us morally and emotionally, especially when logic alone is not enough. Together, they give us a well-rounded way to understand the world. In recent times, there's been a big move towards analytical thinking, leaving behind a more intuitive understanding. This shift has caused a crisis in how we know things, where human experiences are boiled down to numbers, and moral and spiritual aspects are seen as unscientific and ignored. This heavy focus on analysis has big effects, not just on individuals, but on society as a whole, affecting our collective values and well-being. To show the drawbacks of relying too much on analytical thinking, let's look at an example. Imagine college students faced with a moral question. A man buys a dead animal for a disturbing purpose, like using it in a bizarre ritual. Trained in an environment that emphasizes logical reasoning, the students give mixed responses. Some say it's not morally wrong, but still socially unacceptable, while others argue morality is just a social idea, so the man's actions can't be judged as inherently bad. What's striking is how they struggle between their gut feeling and analytical reasoning. They feel uneasy about the scenario but try to justify it based on personal freedom and social norms. This difficulty in taking a clear moral stance reveals a flaw in the education system, which prioritizes analytical thinking over common sense. Let me ask Professor Krauss a question. Why is, why is incest wrong? It's, uh, it's not clear to me that it's wrong. Okay. It's clear to me, it, there's, a, there's an evolution. No, no, no. The students can't agree on whether the act is wrong, 
something most people would instinctively recognize without hesitation. Their confusion warns us about the risks of neglecting intuitive wisdom. This experiment shows how an unbalanced mindset can lead to arrogance, where analytical reasoning is seen as the only valid way to understand the world. In a hadith from Sahih Muslim, the Dajjal, who falsely claims prophethood and even godhood, will perform acts that appear miraculous, like making it rain and crops grow. These apparent miracles will trick many people into believing his lies. Similarly, relying too much on analytical thinking can make us think it's the only way to understand the world. The Dajjal's supposed miracles warn us not to be fooled by flashy wonders and to seek a deeper understanding. Focusing only on logic can overlook moral and spiritual aspects. This mindset, while creating impressive technology, can give us a distorted view of the world, ignoring other important insights. Both cases show how fascination with miracles can make us overlook reality's complexities. They remind us to balance analytical and intuitive thinking. This helps protect us from modern-day deceptions that aim to mislead us, similar to the Dajjal's tricks. Let's address another pertinent issue, YouTube's channel reach limitations. Despite our best efforts to create high-quality, engaging content, many creators, including myself, have experienced the frustration of YouTube's algorithms seemingly limiting the reach of our channels. Whether it's changes in the algorithm, fluctuating viewer preferences, or due to the fact that we create Islamic content that is unfiltered and true to its nature, it's disheartening to see our content not reaching its full potential. However, in the face of these challenges, we must remain resilient and continue to create content that resonates with our audience. We may not always have control over external factors, but we can control the quality and authenticity of our content. 